China is cracking down on corruption, and according to a Chinese article from China News, American media has taken notice of China's efforts, and they praise China's determination. According to a Weibo post that cites NBC, China punished almost 20,000 officials last year for breaking the rules, and mentioned that the current administration is also cracking down on wasteful extravagance and abuse of power. The Chinese article then points out that even American Internet users are supportive of China's anti-corruption campaign. A few comments were singled out by the article that commented on a need to fight corruption in America. Now, for many Chinese Weibo users, the article sounded like the Chinese government bragging about itself. And now let's take a look at some of their comments. Chinese media is blowing this out of proportion. Sure, it's great that we are fighting corruption, but no need to praise ourselves for unfinished work. I bet most Chinese officials would not survive in America's political system. I guess even anti-corruption campaigns must be compared to America. Why don't all of you Chinese medias just tell the whole world to copy China because we are so great? America doesn't have our central disciplinary bureau, but their government functions with a system of checks and balances. We have to check ourselves, and sometimes that's about as effective as a society based purely on the honor system. Americans have a very different view on what government is and should do. In China, the government is like your parent, while in America, the government is the people's servant. It's much easier to rout out wrongdoings in your servants than your parents. China's Xinhua News described China's current anti-corruption campaign as an unprecedented effort which have drawn global attention. So far into the new administration, 17 government officials at and above the ministerial level had been investigated. And the pace seems to be picking up as Weibo seems to have a report on a newly sacked local official every other day. The government has issued formal written regulations on frugality including regulations containing 65 items and 12 chapters that outline proper management of public funds. Now, some of the new rules are also quite specific, such as a crackdown on lavish funerals at the public's expense and a prohibition against officials from joining high-end private clubs.